Hello and welcome to this how-to guide for the Palo Alto Network's NextGen Firewall's baselining solution. As it is now, booting a NextGen Firewall can be done in many ways, whether that be manually bootstrapping, Terraform templates, or other options. In each case, getting the firewall licensed, updated, and upgraded can require a variety of workflows and take a great deal of time and interaction. This solution was created to be boot type agnostic and to save you time by automating the process to license, to update content, and to upgrade or downgrade the PanOS software version. The solution itself is located in a GitHub repository called PanOS Ansible Upgrade Downgrade under the Palo Alto Network's GitHub organization. For a more detailed description of the solution, you can read this article on the Quick Play Solutions page of Live Community. First, we're going to look at how to run the solution as an Ansible playbook. But before we get to the playbook, I want to show you the start state of my firewall. I recently started up a blank, unlicensed 9.1.7 firewall on my laptop. As you can see here, there is no serial number, meaning the dynamic content uh, is not updated. In the end, this will all be configured in one simple step. Moving forward, you can view the readme for the necessary command for running this playbook. So I'm going to copy this over. Once you clone the repo and installed Ansible, I've done that in a Python virtual environment, you have the option to set the variables either in the vars directory or as dash e command line arguments. Just a note that the command line argument overrides any variables that are set in the vars file. I have my variables set in the vars directory, so I can run without the dash e parameters. Once you click enter, the playbook will kick off. The playbook will take a varying amount of time to finish depending on the upgrade and downgrade path to your desired version and how many restarts must occur to do that. After about 20 minutes with no user interaction on my part, the playbook finishes with a few changes and no failures. I initially ran the playbook with the desired version of 10.0.3. And as you can see from my firewall, this is the same exact one that I showed you before. It is now software version 10.0.3 and it is licensed. You can see by the serial number here. And then if we go to the dynamic updates, we can see that both antivirus and application and threat are installed with the most recent versions. So looking back at the playbook, we're gonna scroll to the top. We can see that the playbook started by calculating the desired upgrade or downgrade path to the desired software version that was inputted. It will then go through and activate the auth code talking to the entitlement system in order to license the next gen firewall using the provided pre-activated auth code, and it will do a soft restart of that service. Then if you choose to do so, it will download, install the content and antivirus updates for the firewall, waiting for each of them to complete before continuing. Then it jumps straight into upgrading or downgrading your firewall, depending on the upgrade or downgrade path. So you can see here that it started by downloading, installing the major versions and the minor versions and rebooting to make sure that the upgrade worked as expected. In the very end, it does one final auto commit before it gives you a recap as to how the playbook went. So super easy on the user side. Lastly, we're going to look at how to use this in a solution called Panhandler. This is my team's tool. You can find information on how to use and install Panhandler in the live community under the Quick Play Solutions. Uh, this is the article for that. This will help you get started if you have not already done so. Inside of Panhandler, this is my local instance of Panhandler, we are going to import the PanOS Ansible upgrade downgrade skillet. So back in the GitHub, repository, we are going to copy the HTTPS clone link, enter that in the last text box, and then name the repository. I'm going to name it the same one as the GitHub repository, just for simplicity's sake. 
that should pop up on your imported repositories page. We're going to run the PanOS upgrade downgrade. So this is very similar to the dash E parameters that were given to you. So all you have to do is put in your IP address for the firewall, the username, password, desired PanOS version that you want your firewall to get to, the pre-activated authentication code for licensing, and then you get to decide whether or not you want to update the dynamic content or the antivirus. Once you have all of those filled out, you just click submit and run it. This will create, uh, this will run in the same exact way that it would in the uh, command line. So hopefully this script can save you some time with a small amount of automation. Thank you for your time.